This is Dawson Meadows. This is where local news meets things to do. What's in a name? No, it's not the location for Jimmy Buffett's next concert. No, it's not a new strain from a Colorado weed farmer. And no, it's not a brand of rum. <laughs> Wait, no, actually, actually it is a brand of rum, but in this case it's not. No, it's the name given to the highly anticipated water park in Fort Smith set to open on Memorial Day. Despite much controversy surrounding Parrot Island Water Park, from the debate on the overall price to build the park itself to public outcries on general admission ticket pricing, nothing spurred more social media finger tight puking than the naming of the actual park and the attractions inside. While some hung on to the western heritage that Fort Smith is and screamed it to be named as such, others welcomed the name that didn't remind them of Gallo doors and loose whores. Perhaps a tropical name could be just the thing that would bring the city together and make everyone happy. <clears throat> the city decided to go with a recommendation from a panel of experts and locked in on the name Parrot Island Water Park, but allowed the citizens to name the attractions inside the park. This seemed to calm the masses for now, and names like Caribbean Splash, Tiny Turtle Island, and Pineapple Plunge made the cut. Friend of the show, Kevin Croxton, was awarded a VIP yearly pass to Parrot Island for his naming of the orange slide inside the park, calling it the Tangerine Twist. But it should be noted that my name ran a close race with him and came in second. But in the end, the powers that be decided that Fort Smith City Twister just didn't resonate with the masses. <sighs> USA Truck posts 2014 income of $6 million and ends a five-year loss. If there is a comeback kid in the Arkansas corporate world, it would have to be the Van Buren-based USA Truck. Read more on this at thecitywire.com. Fort Smith Board debates auto and property insurance costs. A more than $230,000 difference between two bids for the City of Fort Smith's auto and property insurance did not present an easy choice for members of the Fort Smith Board of Directors who voted on Tuesday. They'll be reviewing and competing Fort Smith Board debates auto and property insurance costs. A more than $230,000 difference between the two bids for the City of Fort Smith's auto and property insurance did not present an easy choice for the members of the Fort Smith Board of Directors on Tuesday as they reviewed the competing insurance plans. Read more on this at thecitywire.com. Love is in the air as Valentine's weekend is upon us. Things to do this weekend include the opening to the 2015 season at the Fort Smith Little Theater with the Jane Austen classic Pride and Prejudice. Show runs from February 12th to the 21st. More information on this at thingstodoinfortsmith.com. Friday night, take a trip down to the IC Paris Center for Mardi Gras, a celebration to benefit the Fort Smith Museum of History. Then on Saturday, a unique opportunity with the group Fort Smith Social Painting, setting up paintbrushes and easels at Crossroads Antique Mall. More on both these events and even more things to do at thingstodoinfortsmith.com. This is Dawson Meadows reporting on local news and things to do. Join me each week for a new video keeping you in the know, you know? Until next week, remember, this stash is for you. It's gonna be real, real good. Mic check, can you hear me out there? Good.